guys, so if you already watched the last video on listening for a simple and compound time, then you already got kind of the gist down between the differences between simple and compound meter. In this video, we're gonna focus in on the time signatures themselves. So as a quick recap, um, simple, both simple and compound time um, can both be grouped into meters that have two, three, and four beats in them, or duple, triple, and quadruple meters. The, weak, the pattern of strong and weak peaks are exactly the same. Strong, weak, strong, weak, weak, strong, weak, strong, not quite as strong, weak. It's exactly the same between simple and compound meters. The only difference between them is the way that the beats are divided. So in simple time, the beats are divided into twos. In compound time, those beats instead get divided into threes. Um, in terms of the time signature themselves, in simple time, the time signatures always tell me about the beat notes themselves. So as a quick recap, the top number in simple time is always gonna be two, three, or four, meaning I've got two beats, three beats, or four beats in the meter. The bottom number tells me what that beat note is. So if the bottom number is a two, that means I've got two beats and each beat is a half note. If the bottom number is eight, that means I got four beats in this case, and each of those beats is an eighth note. So the bottom number can be anything. It could be any kind of rhythmic value, but the top number is always two, three, or four in simple time. In compound time, my beats instead are divided into threes, and those time signatures, rather than telling me about beats, the time signature in compound time tells you about divisions. And that is the big difference. So in compound time, the top number tells me the number of divisions in the beat, not the number of beats in the measure. So in six, eight time, for instance, I have two beats, but each of those beats are divided into three. And so if I take two beats and divide it into three, I get a total of six divisions. So the top number, in, if in compound time for two beats is six. Um, if I'm in 12, if I'm in four beats instead, I get four beats, each of those two beats is divided into three, that would give me a total of 12 divisions in the measure. So in compound time, the top number is always gonna be six, nine, or 12. Or in other words, if you take the top number and you divide it by three, that'll tell you how many beats you have in each measure. And it's worth memorizing, just knowing every time you see nine in the top, it's a three beat pattern. If you see 12 in the top, it's a, it's a four beat pattern. And that's always gonna be the case. Okay, so in simple time, the, top, the bottom number told us what the beat note was, but in compound time, the bottom number tells you what the division value is, not the beat value. So in order to figure out what the actual beat is, we have to take the bottom number and we have to add up three of those values or take the bottom number and multiply it by three if you like. So in six four time, I have a total of six quarter notes. That's my division value. But in order to figure out what the division, what the beat is, I have to take three of those divisions and add it up. So quarter, quarter, quarter would add up to a dotted half note. So in six four time, I have two beats and each of those beats is a dotted half note. If I'm in nine eight time, I have three beats and each of those beats are dotted quarter notes because three eighth notes adds up to a dotted quarter. Does that make sense? So let's try a couple examples together um, just to kind of get you prepped for your musician assignment. Okay, so if I give you a time signature, let's say, um, let's try something different here. How about 12, 16? Okay, so this tells me, the top number, remember, tells me the number of divisions in the measure. So to figure out the number of beats, I can, if I like, just simply take the top number and divide it by three, and that tells me I have four total beats in the measure. The bottom number, remember, tells me what the division value is. So it tells me that I've got 16th notes as my division value, and I know that there's three 16th notes in a beat. So if I take three 16th notes and I add them up, well, two 16ths equals an eighth, right? And if I add one more 16th to it, that means my beat value is a dotted eighth note. So I have four beats and each beat is a dotted eighth. And if I'm not sure, I could work it out. I could say, well, I've got a total of 12 16th notes in the measure. I could still just work this out. So I could just add them up. I know that those 16ths are gonna be grouped into threes like this. There's all 12 16th notes. And then from there, I can add it up. If they're grouped into threes, that means I've got one, two, three, four beats. 
and each of those beats is 3 16 notes or a dotted eighth. Okay, let's try another example. How about, let's take something a little different. How about 9, 2? Okay, so to figure out the number of beats, I'm going to take the top number and I'm going to divide it by 3 because it tells me the number of divisions, but I need to know beats. So 9 divided by 3 equals 3, so I have 3 beats in the measure. And each of those beats is a total of three half notes. The half note is the division value. So each beat is going to be half, half, half. And that is going to add up to a whole note plus a half note. So actually a dotted whole note is going to be my beat value. So equals the beat. So that would be three beats, so I my whole measure in 9-2 time would look like that. Okay, let's try another example. How about, let's do um, six, uh, I don't know, what should we do? Six, 16. Okay, so I'm gonna take the top number and I'm going to divide it by three, which means that I have two beats in the measure and then I'm going to take the bottom number and I'm going to times that by three, or in other words, I'm going to take three sixteenth notes and add them together, which is going to equal dotted eighth. So that means that my beat is a dotted eighth note value. Got it? So give that a try in musician. And uh, so just remember the top the, the, these numbers are always telling you about division values, right? So take the top number divided by three for beats. Take the bottom number, multiply it by three to get your beat, your beat value. All right, good luck.